So why would you see two minis herring round an industrial estate? Well, Jeremy Clarkson making his new video and here he is, round himself. Jeremy, tell us a bit about these mini things and what you're doing with them. The video is the best hundred cars ever, right, since the dawn of automotive time, because it's a hundred years since AC, which is the country's oldest car maker, set up shop. So I thought, good time, sit back and go, right, what have been the best hundred from the last hundred years? And the two minis mm. are like fighting it out for a high up spot. And you can't tell us which one's the best at the minute, can you? No, but put it like this, one of them's English and one of them's German. Ah, clue there. <laughs> yes. No, I mean, the old minis, I can actually, because there's no, it, we're keeping number one a secret. But the fact is, is that the new Mini's brilliant. For now, it's fantastic. But will it be still look good in 40 years' time? That's the question. I mean, this has lasted 40 years. It's pretty amazing. It's isn't unbelievable it? that it still works today, 40 years on. Now it's everyone's dream to be a racing car driver and I've come here to Blyton near Gainsborough to see if I've got what it takes. I am so excited. I've been up all night worrying about it, haven't had any sleep. Let's see how I do. briefing over, now it's time to go to the tracks. So I'm just going to get in the car and make my way down to one of their cars. When you're racing, it's not just about going as fast as you can. That's right, way. yes. It's all about smoothness. Yeah. And speed, speed comes with smoothness, you know. Brake and straight line, do my gear change, come off the brake, I'm back on the accelerator now. If I can find a straight line through here, taking tight to initially look, I'm nearly straight now. Uh, again, I'm in the straight line for my braking, come off the brake, turn, I'm looking through the corner. You're making it so easy. Well, it's just smoother. So that wasn't going really too fast, it was just trying to find the right lines and the right way of doing it with smoothness. Yeah. The wrist should just sit on the 10 to 2 position. So you put the steering wheel straight there, okay, on the back. So when you get hold of the steering wheel, you should have a nice gentle curve of the arm. Your arm shouldn't be absolutely straight out, and they shouldn't be very bent in. So you should have a nice gentle curve. Two of the most important things we want to say about again, the firstly is the way you use the controls. The steering wheel, the accelerator and the brakes, gear change must be smooth. Right. Don't rush anything. The key to the smooth driving as well is to keep your brain ahead of the car. So when you're ready, away you go. So there's the start point. So I'm, looking for so I'm going to start braking now. Leave it in third this time if you want. On the next gently. So balance through the first part. Use a little bit more of the road, running wide. Now start playing ahead again. Braking, changing gear. Two hands back on the wheel, back on the accelerator gently, let the clutch out. Feel that grip level and start to feed it in. Start to feel it slipping, just back off slightly. Tighten the left. As we spoke about before, we're looking for that straight line as much as we can. Into third gear, off the brake, back on the accelerator gently, squeeze, squeeze. Just hold it at that, tight to the left, squeeze. Sit constant, now tight to the left. Hold it at that, go to the right, it's a constant drive. Gently, pan ahead again. I need to get tight into the left. I need to look for that straight line for braking. Brake, off the brake, back on that side to squeeze, balance, feel that grip level building. A little bit more, a bit more, a bit more. So keep accelerating hard. Over to the exit here, accelerate. Done. Much better. No drama. Really enjoyed no that. No drama. Good. Right, we'll come in this time. Aww. Give a rest. Do it again later. Aww. Promise. 
Now, these look like impressive times, but we've got to remember that this is just the first round of the scholarship, and they're not necessarily looking for speed, more about driving style and ability. Now, I've grabbed Tom here, who's a young driver. Just move this steering wheel out of the way. Tom, how do you think you're getting on today? Um, it's going well. Uh, seems to be smooth. I'm enjoying it. Yeah? It's good. So, tell me a bit about your background. You've done karting before, haven't you? Yeah, I've done karting. been doing it about three years, and... Uh, Recently, you're starting to win quite a lot of races. Yay. It's going well. That's so what we want to hear, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's getting better. Yeah. So. so, obviously, you're looking to progress on this round and hopefully become a yeah. racing driver for next year. Yeah, definitely. See, go through the next round, try and get the driver, really. Right. Okay. So, what have you learnt from today, then? How have you improved, or do you think you have at all? Uh, I've learnt quite a lot about how you push the car and about the grip you can get and braking to help adjust the car right. and stuff. It's quite interesting what I've learnt, really. So am I right in thinking that your um, experience so far is with carts and that's quite a bit different from today's driving? Yeah, a lot different, a lot different. Yeah. You've got a lot more weight being transferred and carts all very stiff, so yeah. a lot different. I found that um, I can listen more to what the car is telling me and you know, perhaps where I just go hectic all the way round, yeah. the instructor is saying to me, you know, if you listen to what the car is saying about the grip on the tyres, have you found that as well? Yeah, you can hear when it's I was scrubbing off speed or you're getting more speed in, by just listening to tyres and listening to the engine. Yeah. It's very interesting how the car's moving as well. It's very good. Oh, let's see how you're going to get on later. Yeah. Now, you're with your dad today, and he's been obviously really supportive and helped you get your first yeah. car. What's he thinking to today? Uh, I think he's been impressed. And yeah. I think he's enjoyed it. He's, hopefully I'll do well. Yeah. Do you think perhaps he's living um, what he wanted to do but never quite got the chance through you? I wouldn't say that. No. He's just proud that I'm doing it. Oh. Yeah. That's great, isn't it? I think that's brilliant. If I have a little boy, he's going to be a racing car driver, just like you, Tom. Thank you. <laughs>
I, I think it was very good. I think it was okay. It was smooth. It was controlled. And the guy was happy at the end. When asked the question, are you happy? He said, yep, very happy. So I'm just fingers crossed that we get through the next round. And I just want this. So got to go. Got to go for it. <laughs> you want this really badly, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> got to try for it. Got to go for it. You, you don't know your limits till you can, you know, you can get tested and this tests your limits. So that's cool. Right. So you've got four weeks to find out, haven't you? They said something like three or four weeks. Don't tell you today. Um, and that's that's fine. I understand that. They've got to collate everybody and judge everybody against everybody. And OK, well, we'll leave it there. You've got four weeks of sleepless nights and hopefully you're going to hear, I'll oh, get a letter in the post or something. I'll get a letter in the post. I no doubt I'll get a letter <laughs> in the post. <laughs> On to round two. I'll see you guys there. Jenny, this is the uh, the part where we're going to put all the things you've just learnt into practice. Okay, and hopefully demonstrate to me three or four laps where you can be nice and consistent and smooth, um, and uh, show me the great improvements that you've made. Of course, three laps, nice and consistent, nice and smooth. Don't try too hard and relax. Just think of all the important points that we talked about. Okay. Breathe again now. I think I'm holding my breath all the way round. I think you are. Does it feel like a driving test? It does actually. I've just like thought, oh, I feel really serious now. Because I want to bang the clipboard on the dash for <laughs> an emergency it's, it's stop. It's because you've got a clipboard in your hand, that's what it is. <laughs> Don't forget to breathe. <laughs> I've my breath. You're starting to get. Um, a, con a constant rhythm going for the, the, your driving habits now, going into a corner. You're starting to say to yourself, brake, change gear, two hands back on the wheel, foot on the accelerator, balance, then turn into the corner. Don't accelerate to start with, lock off and then accelerate. Though that sort of sequence of events, it, hopefully in that order, is it just going through your mind? Yeah, it yeah, is, yeah. yeah. You are in control, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Good. You like that at the end, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Excellent. Well done. Well, did you enjoy it, really? Yes, very, very, very yeah. much so. Yeah. I can't believe the difference between when I was first first went out actually yeah. and now. Yeah. I'd be I quite like you to go out again in a way and do it your old way, and see see how that would feel now. And I'm sure it would feel just not right. Yeah. Now I think you've reached the stage now where if you do a corner or part of the lap correctly and string it together, you think that felt really nice and it felt smooth and you were quick. Yeah. And as soon as you get it wrong, you know yourself without me saying anything, I've got that bit wrong. I'm starting to know what I've done wrong yeah. as well. Yeah, and you know why you've, why you've done it wrong too. Yeah. Yeah. But I think if, we, if you said go out and drive the way I did in the beginning, I don't think I could now because I've had such expert tuition. <laughs> That it's all been scrubbed, you know, the bad way that I used to drive. You've been brainwashed, basically. Yeah. You have been brainwashed. But the best yeah. way. Yeah. See these wipers? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this, this is what's done it. I am They're in a trance. They are set as a rhythm <laughs> to my voice tone. That was really, really very good. Thank you yeah. very much. You improved. Did you hear that? Uh, excuse me, did you hear that? Very, very good. Mm, yes. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah, well well done. Excellent. Thank you. Well, I've had a fantastic day out on the track with Andrew and I've learnt so much, but now I've caught up with Tim, who's the organiser of today's event. Hello. Hi. So, can you tell us a bit of background as to how you started these events in the first place? Yeah, um, I've been racing for years and years as a professional driver. I started in karting and came through the sport the hard way. Um, got my big break when I got into touring cars, when BMW did a, a driver search, like a competition, like a scholarship for young racing drivers, people who were already racing, where they picked three um, young drivers and, and gave them their big break into touring cars. Fortunately, I was one of the ones that, that got chosen and that launched my career. And the idea is very straightforward, that absolutely anybody can enter. They come along on one of our days, drive one of the cars. If the instructor thinks they've got the natural ability, then they'll progress through the competition, through the various rounds of the competition, right up to the semi-final and the final. Um, and, and every year we give somebody from absolutely nothing a full year of racing and that 
can go on to, to launch a, a career in motorsport. I've got to ask you one more thing, because um, I noticed that I was the only girl today. Yeah. So what's the score with the women applying then? There's no problem at all. I mean, I, I wish we <laughs> I wish we had <laughs> more, more women. <laughs> but uh, no, it's, it's open to absolutely everybody. But I think, again, somehow people subconsciously think that anything like this is not for them you know people think well they must want something they must want something else but and the women think oh i wouldn't be good but we'd love to we'd yeah. love to have more women every year we have three or four five women enter it every year we had a finalist last year that was a that was a girl and uh, whilst we don't treat them any differently it would be it would be great to have to have more women on the competition okay well you heard it here first so if you're out there girls come on in town. go on go on Well, that's the end of the first round. I had a great day, met some fantastic people and learnt a lot of driving, obviously. But the real thing is, am I going to be a racing car driver? Now, they keep you in limbo for about four weeks. So I've got four weeks to sit at home with my fingers crossed and see if I'm going to be a racing car driver. What do you think? Think I'm going to make it? I tell you what, will you do me a favour and sit at home like that as well, just in case? And I'll let you know how I get on. What would you think I could call myself? What sort of car do you think I'd have? I wonder if I could just have it maybe different colours or something. Get a matching outfit. Wouldn't it be great? Wouldn't it be wonderful? with this addiction to speed that you've obviously got yeah do you ride a motorbike no no it's the outfits like it's the outfits i mean i fully i'm absolutely aware of the fact that if you want to kick some dopamine out there and have an adrenaline rush and so on then motorbikes are fantastic i know that to be the case but never having been an s m fan <laughs> it's that full leather outfit it just doesn't do anything for me you know, and, and I'm sorry, I'm just too old now. I need sort of CD players and air conditioning air and stuff conditioning, like that. Just relax, get yeah, the tunes on. Exactly, put it in D and what go What sort home. of tunes do you play when you're in your car? Cause Whatever Terry like... Wogan's got on. Terry Wogan. I like Terry Wogan. <laughs> Showing his age now. Terry Wogan's fantastic. Well, if you listen to Radio 1, it's just a <laughs> zoo animals banging dustbins together. Okay. Stupid noise. Stupid. It is a stupid noise, Radio <laughs> 1. No, I'm first, the first to admit I'm old now. I'm old, officially old. I'm a Radio 2 listener. So rumour has it we're going to be racing go-karts against each other later. Yeah, you've done it before? Yes, once. Only once. A few, a few months I bet ago. you were useless. Um, well, I went about six years ago and I was really like, a bit scared. But no, since not... I did this Gumball Rally, I've got a lot more confidence. So I have it's nothing to do with confidence, it's to do with weight. Well, I've got a lot of that. Yeah, exactly. Should be a You've had it. I mean, those engines are only about three horsepower or something. And you watch these little sticky people whiz off into the distance, and there's nothing you or I can do about it. Right. Just be a mobile chicane. I'm like, people, is it a glacier? Is it a man? <laughs> I mean, I'm so spectacularly slow in a car. Really? Even though I've lost three stone in the last couple of years. Not from taking any exercise, don't any big ideas, but it was just like, but so it does make life a bit easier. But you, we can't be fast. There's no such thing as a big, heavy, fast person. Heavy. He just referred to me as big and heavy. And Generously breasted. I don't know. Whatever you want to. Oh, that's so. nice. <laughs> so you got no handy tips for me other than lose a bit of weight. <laughs> yeah, no, if we lose a bit of weight and lop your legs off. No, honestly, yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing we can do. We can drive around at the back chatting, basically, getting in everybody else's way. Really? Yeah, because we'll be hopeless. You mark my words, we'll be absolutely useless. We had Johnny Herbert here last year. This is about that big. Mm. Oh, just unbelievably fast. You just, you just think, well, how? You think, I know what I'll do. I'll let him overtake and then I'll follow him round and know where he's going. Yeah. You haven't got a hope in hell. Because he just overtakes and then gone. Oh. Just gone. And you don't know where. You think, well, how did he do that? And it's because he didn't weigh anything. It's just the go-kart going around. So you've got no tips for me for go-karting. What about presenting and the kind of job you do now? Got any tips for me? Just leave a big um, pause. Okay. That's what I always do. Man, that was smoking that started that off. Because I was writing these great long sentences. 
and then finding that I hadn't got the breath to deliver them all. So people oh, always say, what were you doing with that? Big pause. And it was like, because I just needed to take a breath. And that's why it came out. That's why I started doing it. Okay. Give that a whirl. What, smoking? But you could probably, yeah, try smoking. Shouldn't I think it really, does present us. Why not? Oh, well, health and fitness, you know. Yes, but think of what you're doing for the country. Which is? Well, for every one pound I cost the NHS, I give it three pounds sixty. If I didn't smoke, everybody's income tax would go up eight p in the pound. I give the Exchequer enough money every year to pay for the entire police force. I, and then I do all this, and then I drop dead before I need any of the services. <laughs> so you're going to watch my show? What night's it on? It's on in August. Yeah, what oh, night? Oh, know. August, no. No, I eat cheese in August. Oh, but you could just put a bit down for a second. Just no, to I'm watch sorry, me. it's my cheese month. But I, I don't watch TV, I just eat cheese instead. Well, you could eat cheese in front of the telly. No, you can't, can't concentrate on the You my could cheese. put it on them little cocktail sticks and then you could just like chew like a lo lolly. And then... No, I don't, I like to just have cheese. What if I send you a video, you could watch it when you've finished I could watch that in September. Cheese. Yeah. I don't eat cheese in September. Yeah. yeah that would be great, yeah. And then you'll, you'll ring me oh, and tell yeah. me how I'm doing then. Yeah, no, I'll, yeah. I'll give you a call in September. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>